Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, talk on troubleshooting. So, so we had some interruptions yesterday. So I am going to start from the beginning of this uh, PPT. So, so what is meant by troubleshoot? So troubleshoot in the sense it is uh, there is no special definition for troubleshooting. So it's kind of repair or it can be a restart or it can be a uh, like a, it depends on error we will take an action. Okay, so every troubleshooting part starts from analyzing the log files. So log file analysis we have uh, we have done yesterday log file path. So the same set of log files available for every server. Go and look into that path by opening that file, particular file, system out dot uh, file in VA editor or the whatever, and verify the error and uh, take the action according to that. So in troubleshooting part, first we have to understand why we need to troubleshoot. So people will think, people uh, used to say the word called troubleshoot. So some of, I mean, uh, most of the people doesn't know what is that mean. How do you troubleshoot and what kind of scenarios? So what is the situation? So we have to troubleshoot such kind of uh, issues. Okay. And here I have listed uh, the regular basic and most of the time we will uh, we will we will take troubleshooting activities for the below the first one is server may crash server may uh, here server in the sense web sphere application server right so the server may be a deployment manager or node agent or application server it can be anything server may crash and the second one so we will see the definition and what is crash and all in the uh, coming slides. So just as of now understand why troubleshooting. So why we need to troubleshoot. So if the server may hang or crash, threads are using high CP utilization. So what does that mean threads? So thread in the sense web sphere application server is a multi threaded programming. So that means each server having multiple threads threads will do the job okay so whenever you execute any I mean whenever you start whenever you trying to access any application you are deploying something so all the actions are taken care by the threads only threads will do the job so these threads are uh, using high CPU utilization high CPU means your hardware so that is one kind of reason and applications are not accessible effectively so application will not accessible properly so it can be a network issue or it can be a server issue or it can be application issue or it can be a port conflict so there are a lot of things so such kind of uh, in, in that scenarios so the application will not be accessible so we have to take an action accordingly I'll, I'll tell you what what kind of action we have to take and the next one client requests are overloaded so client requests are overloaded in the sense so the bulk of the, the multiple number of uh, requests are coming into the server at a time okay so that time uh, we can say it is overloaded so server will not able to handle all the requests so obviously server will go down or hang so it can be something and connection pool fail so connection pool is belongs to database so connection pool is a predefined database connections. So uh, the using this connection pool, the request uh, uh, the request uses this connection pool to connect the database and fetch the data from database. And queues are overloaded, and the file cannot be read and write for the application. So these are the major things. So we will take an action of troubleshoot okay so just go by one by one what is crash and hang cpu okay so i hope under you understand uh, this slide so just give me a confirmation so that i can move to the next slide yeah yeah fine okay so what is crash Crash in the sense that sphere server java process no longer exist. 
so that means websphere we know that uh, websphere server is a java process it runs in jvm so whenever you start the server it runs in jvm at, and it gives you one process id that process id we will we'll call it as java process id so okay so if the java process id is not exist no longer exist then you can say server is not running server crash so why it is happening okay so we'll discuss in the next slide that and the process is terminated or killed so that is the definition of crash so web sphere server java process no longer exist that is the java process terminated or killed in the second point we can see java process terminates due to some native code is running on web sphere so native code in the sense non java code if you are trying to deploy some non java code like c and c++ or dotnet or php so it, it is not java okay so you are you are deploying some other code so then obviously server will goes down automatically because native code is running server will not accept that and the server become uh, i mean shut down mode and the third one at that time jvm crash jvm itself crash or mission crash so mission crash in the sense where your jvm where your server is running that mission itself crash and application get binary code that means so whoever accessing that application end users will get binary code in the browser so binary code in the sense unknown language in the browser so such kind of i mean a lot of errors so these kind of uh, things we see when the server is crash so then how the server is going to crash state so what is the causes so here i have listed the basic i mean uh, uh, the complete causes for server crash so first one is native code is running on web sphere that means non java code and the second reason native io whoever using that application or whoever maintaining that server they are not giving proper input so because of that so the server will go down and using type 1 type 2 type 3 jdbc drivers because we cannot use 1 2 3 drivers we have to use only type 4 driver so only type 4 driver is java driver so type 1 in the sense it is odbc jdbc and it it will not work on linux machines so but here we are using for database for linux machines so we don't use this odbc jdbc and second driver for non java code and the third one network servers so these three drivers we don't use so we use only type 4 driver so if you are trying to use this one the request will not uh, accept by the application server and the server will not able to take it up and obviously data will not be get from the database servers and the native libraries access in jni and ssl libraries if ssl certificate has expired or any native ssl certificate invalid certificates so is there libraries is there then obviously server will not run and the next one jvm itself crash or most of the time from jvm only jvm means nothing but server and running without a disk space this is very important disk space you should have sufficient disk space in your linux box so if you if you found the disk space is filling by unwanted log files so then we can zip the files or we can move the files to another location or we can um, purge the files so according to your project just take an action of that so you should have sufficient disk space in your hard disk if you don't have sufficient disk space then what happens server will not come up and some of the important files and the configuration files will be corrupted some of the files will be missing so to overcome these kind of problems you should have sufficient disk space so and we will put some threshold for that so unix team will do that so whenever the threshold limit is in, uh, reached that so it can be it depends on environment if it is production we can make it for 70% 
so once the 70 percent reaches then uh, it will trigger an email to alert to your email box so then you have to look into that so thresholds are uh, uh, defined by the unix administrator so that we have to contact unix team they'll schedule that so you should not uh, run the servers without a disk space so that is very critical so these are all the causes for server crash so hope you guys understand Then uh, one point was the SSL natives. So that means uh, SSL secure socket layer. So native libraries means uh, that is not, uh, I mean, actual uh, SSL certificate. You are trying to import uh, invalid certificates, which is not trusted by the trust center. Okay. So then it will be uh, it will be the native library. So then the server will not come up. And the next one, okay. what is hang? So what is hang? Hang means it is not like uh, server crash. The spear Java project.